everybody. Hope we're okay. Um, today in literacy, we're looking at uh, and showing that we understand what we have read. Okay, so we call it inference, that we know that what we have read, okay, that it makes sense and that we've understood it and then we can talk about what we've read because the reason that's why we read, okay? The reason why we read is to find out information, uh, to enjoy stories. So it's really important that we know and understand that sentence. Sometimes we'll read and we'll read and then our adults might say, oh, well, where did Joe go? Which shop did she go to? What did they buy? I think, well, why are you asking me questions? And we ask you these questions to check that you're not just reading a word, but that you're understanding the word. And today we're going to focus on that understanding. Have we understood what we have read? If you are working on a year two work, what I would like you to do is read through these posters, okay? We've got lots of information, okay, about the planets. We start with a star, okay, the sun, okay? And I would like you as a year two to read through these on your own, to have a really good go. There's going to be words in there that are new to you, and what would be a really good idea is asking your adult what those words mean. And that shows that you've read and that you are understanding, okay? Because you're going, oh, consists. Consists, what does consists mean, okay? So I'm going to go and ask my adult. I'm going to check that so I understand what I am reading. So I'd say year twos, have a go at trying to read most of that on your own. There's a lot, okay? So you might just read two or so of the first ones, okay? But I want you to read it so that you can find out for yourself a little bit more about the sun and the planets. I'm not going to go through that now because I think I'll just bore us all, okay? So I'd like you to do that separately. So you might pause me and you might open the planets information first and have a read through that. And then when you've read through it, come back to this video. If you're year one, okay, you might look through it together with your adult. If you're year one, I'd say you'd find it very challenging maybe to have a go on your own. There is a lot to read, okay? Year twos, I think that you're still going to find it challenging as well, but I want you to have that little bit more challenge today. Now, so once we've looked at those posters, okay, we're going to have a look at some information here, okay? This is very similar to what you're going to do today. So again, we read for information. We read so we understand and we can find out more. Now here, we always start at the top. I spoke yesterday to the year twos that sometimes it's very easy just to go, I don't need to know what the title is. I'm going to miss that out. I'm going to read it. The sun. All of the planets that are in the solar system orbit the sun. Oh, brilliant reading, Mrs. Eastwood. Read all the words, that's great. But you know what? I'm stopping a moment and thinking, oh, I know I read the word sun. I don't know what I read. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to read it a little bit slower because it's important that I know what has happened in that sentence. So, all of the planets that are in the solar system orbit the sun. Now, if Miss Davenport was there, I'd say, well, Miss Davenport, can you tell me what orbit means? Orbit is a new word and it's a word that we're going to see probably a little bit more in our topic and say that for us to understand, it goes around, okay? It turns around the sun, okay? It moves around, it moves around the sun. So I know that all of the planets, okay, are found in the solar system and I know that they orbit the sun. So because I know that I've read and I've understood that, I'm going to move to my next sentence. The sun is a star which is made from extreme, oops, extremely hot gases. Now I spent quite a little bit of time decoding this word extremely. So just so I know that it makes sense to me, I'm going to read it back. The sun is a star which is made from extremely hot gases. So I know that the sun isn't a planet, and it's really important to understand that, that it is actually a star. And it's made from hot gases. Now, your task today, when we've completed this, you'll have an activity sheet and you're going to read your sentence and you're going to show you understood by drawing a picture. Now, I didn't want to bore us even more by sitting drawing, so I've already done some drawings because I read it earlier, okay? And here, I've drawn a picture of the sun. I've drawn some bright colours to show it's hot and I've drawn some planets around it because I know that the planets orbit around the sun. 
And there is my picture to show my understanding of what I have read. And the key really is that if you've not understood it, read it again. Sometimes you have to read it maybe three times to check that we've understood. This planet Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. This Earth, a sur surface, the surface is covered in craters. I've done a lot of decoding there. So what do we do if we've had to decode? Let's read it together. The surface is covered in craters. Now again, I need to draw a picture for that. What are craters? I might need to ask my adult, what are craters? Well, I know craters are holes which might have been caused by an explosion or by something crashing into it, okay? So craters, I've drawn like that and it looks a little bit like Earth's moon, okay? So I've drawn mine like that because it said that the surface, so the outside of it is covered in craters so i think i've shown a good understanding of that one let's look at our next planet venus it has poisonous poisonous acid clouds which trap the sun's heat mm. i remember reading something about clouds but i'm going to go back see if you can join in with me at home it has poisonous acid clouds which trap the sun's heat. So here, okay, I'm one step ahead. I'll read the next one. It is reddish brown in colour. Now let's have a look. I've done this picture. Do you agree with this one? Can you see that clearly? Okay. Hopefully you've got a big picture of the planet and not a big picture of my face. Okay. Do we agree with this picture? Let's read it back and check. Does it match? It has poisonous acid clouds which trap the sun's heat. So I have created some clouds. So I know Venus has poisonous clouds which trap the heat. So it makes Venus very, very hot. It is reddish brown in colour. Now have a look again. It is reddish brown in colour. Do we think I've read that information properly? What do you think I could have done to improve that? Hopefully you could have said I could have put a bit more red in there because I've actually put a bit of yellow in there. So I don't think that I've really shown that I've understood that as well as I could have done, okay? So look at all the information. Yesterday, for the year twos in our comprehension, I talked about highlighting information so sometimes it's really useful to underline or draw around the key information things so let's see if mrs eastwood can remember what she's doing with the board oops no she can't um let me see how did i get the pen on last time i think i'm just going to draw so i would circle around reddish brown okay and i would put these clouds I think that's important information when I'm drawing my picture, okay? So if you've got a highlighter or colour pencil, you might colour those keywords in to help you today with your pictures. Now, I'm going to see, that's probably going to stay on that page and I can't remember how to take that off. Oh, oh, I don't know if that's, oh, no, that's given me the wrong one. Did I pull that up last time? Oh, there we go. I have a week off look and I forget how to use the board. Let's see. Will that take off that mark? I don't think it will. Oh dear. Right, no, it's not going to want to take it off. So we'll see what happens as I turn the page. Oh, there we go. Oh dear me, I feel a little bit rusty at all this all of a sudden. Next one, Earth. So Earth's surface is mainly covered with water. You can see land as well. Do you know what, I've spotted a mistake as well because there should be, oh, do you know what there should be at home? Year twos. Do you know what I'm missing on Earth's surface? I'm missing an apostrophe, okay? Because I'm saying that Earth's surface, surface, okay, it belongs to Earth. Earth's surface is mainly covered with water. You can see land as well. What do we know from that? 
okay can you tell your adult at home if they're watching with you earth's surface is mainly covered with water you can see land as well what do you know about earth's surface what is it mainly covered in well done if you said water and what else can you see and well done if you said land and here is my picture to show that i've understood what earth looks like now today this is what your activity will look like okay so you want you've got your sentences for the planets okay i want you to think about what you're told remember if i was you i would highlight color in or circle around the important bits so it looks a little bit like earth's moon earth's moon well what do i know that looks like okay i'm going to use that information i know here earth is blue with white clouds so in this picture i might draw some blue might draw some white clouds but i also know there's green land so i could add that little bit in and especially if you're the year twos who've read the other posters the information as well year ones you may have read those with your adult it'd be really helpful okay and some of the other information that miss davenport has put on the wake up today is going to really help you okay with the detail of these i want you to put as much as you know from what you have read and what you have found out to show that you're understanding okay so if you finish these and if you send us your photos okay so we can see how we're getting on with our reading and hopefully okay we're getting a little bit more familiar with the names of the planets okay have a good day bye bye